time to resume this fight action. Welcome back. What the fuck? What? Okay, this ain't okay. Hey, that's just cheating. This is bullshit. Big B, do we have any? Do we have any hidden towers? What do we got, man? Ah! I'm kicking these all as kills. Oh fuck. Oh my god. Ah. Fuck off of me. This is fucking insane. Too many kills to handle. Get off me. This shit's crazy! <laughs> LMG! Ah! Use your hidden powers, Big B! Yes! Yes! Oh my god, yes. Yes to all of this. I'm counting that as four. That's five. You guys are pissing me the fuck off. Oh, this is amazing. Oh my god, why? That's six. Our hidden power. Let's do it. What are you doing, Big B? Yeah! Kill 13 people. You see the irony in that? Fuck that bitch. Oh my god, yes. Yes to all of what just happened right now. Damn, that was a perfectly good shirt. Bigby, oh my god, Bigby, no. No, Bigby, put some pants on. Bigby, no. Oh, thank god. Oh, at least he was polite enough to wait around so I could get dressed. Hello, Bigby. You look tired. Give me one good reason not to rip you apart right now. This gun holds six. Oh. I won't miss next time. Before you do anything with me, I thought I should point out a few things. Snow White wants you to bring me back to the woodlands, doesn't she? And that's what I want. You plan to do what she says, don't you? No. Snow's not here. You're dealing with me now. That may be true, but I'd advise against defying your new boss. At least for the time being. You will bring me back alive. Look, all I ask for is the chance to speak for myself in front of the community. If I have I'm sure anything to say about it, you're dead here. A fair trial. Anything to say Can about it. Can we at least agree on that? I will have a trial. Are we clear? How about I bring your corpse back to the woodlands instead? You're not going to kill me. You'd bet your life on that? 
Yeah, Look, would you? There's no reason for us to be at each other's throats here. That's funny, coming from a guy pointing a gun at my head. Yeah. This is just a precaution. I'm sure you understand. I'm no murderer, Mr. Wolf. I didn't kill those women. And I think you know that. All I'm asking for is a chance to explain my side of the story. Bull shit. I already talked to Georgie. I know you ordered their deaths. Mr. Porgy is mistaken, I assure you. If I have anything to I'm say about this, man. you're going to Not die here. There's still a lot you have to answer for. And I will. As long as you agree to my terms. Because I'm not saying another word until I'm brought before the community. If I have any and other I don't choice. Think I'm being unreasonable. If you decide to do something stupid, like murder me, you won't get your answers. But you will have a difficult time explaining yourself to Miss White and the rest of this miserable town. You're I often have absolutely and I any say in this matter. Let me ask you an honest question. What do you really care about here? Where this case is concerned, I mean. Do you really want the truth? Or do you just want to look like the hero? This is about protecting Fable Town. And some asshole murders two of our people. It's my job to bring them down. Then why are you here? You know who murdered them. And he's Georgie. dead. Georgie. He's dead. He's dead, isn't he? Mm-hmm. My point being, the killer has been dealt with. You've won. You really think I'm that stupid? I understand you have an obligation to bring me in. But you can brighten up a little. Hmm, no, I'm not in a very so, brighten up mood. Shall we get going? I'd rather not dawdle. Oh, I don't think so. We're not doing this your way. How unfortunate. I was hoping we could make this work. Son what are you going to do now? Rip me apart like some kind of animal? Killing me here would achieve nothing. And what would Miss White think? You show up with <sighs> nothing but a call. No answers. As no much food. as I would love to bring him in. Just, just the inner me. This is the bad is guy renegade fucking play it there. And we're sticking with it. Fuck this guy. For you. You said enough. <sighs> oh. oh man. Here we're renegade all the way through, guys. All the way through. Where the hell is Big B? Oh, come on! Are you, Are you fucking kidding me? Are we sure he's coming? Yes, any minute. And then we'll oh. get started. I really appreciate you taking the time. I know it's short notice, but given the circumstances... Oh man, that was a rough decision right there. What have you done? Oh god. My job. Baby. Shit. He killed him. Holy shit. I didn't think you had it in you, Big B. Stop it. You ripped him apart. I told you to bring him back alive. You really fucked him up. What did you do? He's all... You did this to him? Why? It's over. Crooked man is dead. No shit. I thought I wanted him gone. But this? Yeah, he's dead it's now. terrible. No, it isn't. What the hell happened? Tell me. Tell me why you did this. I think it's pretty clear. He nearly ripped his head off. Please. Explain yourself. I'm gonna I say was just defend. defending because he had a fucking gun at it me. It was him or me. That's not what it looks like, buddy. You tore that fucker apart. I get it, but you call that self-defense? Oh God. I call it overkill self-defense. 
Did you really have to murder the man? Hang on. It's not murder. Then what would you call it? Justice, maybe? This is not justice! You know it's not. Why not? This is Bigby Wolf doing whatever the hell he wants. Which, in this case... You can't do things like this anymore! It's too late for that discussion yeah. now. He's dead, so let's move on. So, that's it? We can't just move on. That's all you have to say? What are you getting on his case about? He did the right thing here! If this fucker killed Lily... And Faith. How can we be sure of that? Without a trial, what evidence do we have? We never had anything concrete. That's why we needed him here. Are you telling me the killer might still be out there? Why'd you kill him then? Crooked Man was the prime suspect. But without well. his testimony, we have nothing. The Crooked Man ordered their deaths. He's behind it. He ordered it? Well, then who the fuck did it? Georgie did. Georgie? Where's Georgie now? He's if we also bring him in dead. for questioning, we... What? Where is he? Big B? Is he still out there? I sincerely hope not. Well, where is he? Not I killed, killed him. him. He's dead. What? I don't even know what to say to you right now. Good. Maybe that's not such a bad thing. You're on board with this? I don't Damn know. right they're I mean, on board with like this. It's not like the crooked man didn't deserve it. And if Georgie killed them... You think anyone deserves this? Your job is to keep Fabletown safe. The minute you start abusing your position by attacking people, we betray the trust of this community. And killing those people out there, on your own, without my... Without due process, it makes us look like... Like killers? How could you do this? It's just one thing after another. Look, I'm glad he's fucking dead. But like this? What does it really matter? He could do this to True. any of us. It's I all solved this case. The crooked man gave the order, Georgie carried it out, and I took care of both of them. I made myself very clear. This is not okay. Snow's right. This is disgusting. Oh, it's much worse than that. What? Are you guys buddy buddy with the crooked man all of a sudden? What the fuck is wrong with you? Grand. Everyone, that's enough. Is that enough? I'm done. I killed him. Big B, I can't protect you without the support of this community. The minute you kill another suspect, or rip out someone's throat in a back alley, I won't be able to stop them from calling for your resignation. And yours. Mm. If that happens, I can't defend you. Do you understand? I thought you had my back, Snow. I do, but that only goes so far. Listen. Oh, Maybe dear. you were right this time about the crooked man, but what happens when you're wrong? The second you make a mistake about someone, oh, I shit. won't watch you become a murderer. I think it's too late for that. I know what I'm doing. All right. Having some personnel issues, Miss White? Can't control your mutt? Bluebeard, this is hardly the time. It looks like as long as the wolf thinks you're guilty, he has free reign to murder you in your sleep. No, that's not is this how... this what we can expect from now on? Yeah, you make one mistake and Bigby's gonna rip your head off? Hey, that's not fair. Maybe a few limbs, too? That's not going to happen. Or Maybe. just beat us to death. Are we even protected anymore? If we're thrown out the... Don't be ridiculous, beast. I'm not about to... You think I'm being ridiculous? We all know what you're capable of. You nearly gouged my eyes out. Beast. Please, the sheriff isn't going you to... see, then he the wolf me. does whatever the hell he wants. And the princess is no better. Now, hang on a minute. You don't believe me? They came to my apartment. And then for no earthly reason, they burned my tree to ashes. She ordered it done. What? Why would you do that? If you ask me, you're both monsters. Snow? She was helping people glamour themselves as other fables. We couldn't let that continue. I can't say I'm fucking surprised. I am. Snow, how could you do that? You ruined my life for no reason at all. What else were we supposed to do? Snow wanted the tree destroyed, so I did it, all right? Yes, because she was helping Crane and the Crooked Man. Would you rather have that continue? What choice did I have? You can pretend it's about law and order. 
But it's time you stopped <laughs> lying to yourself. You wanted to get back at me for what Crane did. But that doesn't justify it. You both just act out of your own selfish desires. It doesn't matter what's right. At this point, I'd rather have Crane. You don't mean that. At least Crane didn't come around just to beat people up. Or destroy what's ours. He also earned the position. Don't start. He left us alone. Things will only get worse now. God damn I've had it. about enough of this shit. You really think you'd rather have Crane back? You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Excuse me? Hey, wait. You can't talk to us that way. Big B's right. You people don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Do you seriously think you want Crane back? He was an asshole, and he didn't do shit for any of you. Snow and Bigby found my sister, when Crane wouldn't even look. Yeah, but they only came around when they thought it was Snow White who ate it. No, they cared about Lily. They care about all of us. Even if they've got a funny way of showing it sometimes. Thank you, Holly. Oh, come on, Holly. Maybe Snow gives a fuck, but Bigby? I mean, this, I get. But I didn't do shit wrong, and I got my fucking arm ripped off. That you fucking attack me, friend. you bastard. Same here. He just hit me for no fucking reason. You fucking lied to me, you bastard. Everyone, please, just calm down. <laughs> we have a right to be heard. Are you afraid of what we have to say? This isn't helping. I'm not finished. Like we give a Need shit. some help, Miss White. Just a minute. This can't continue. Everyone just shut up. Or what? <laughs> Big B? Don't. Please, do not blame the Sheriff for his outburst. It isn't Bigby's fault. He can't control his nature. And frankly, I wouldn't dare ask him to try. But with a Sheriff so impulsive... Thank God one Deputy of my decisions Mayor help. have at least some command over her office. Bluebeard? Are either of them fit to run this town? Can I say something? Excuse me? Nerissa. Who the hell is she? My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa. Please Let me aside. shut you up. What is the meaning of this? You're done. Damn right he's afraid of me. Now shut the fuck up. I haven't been able to speak my mind for a long time. We were prisoners at that club. We had nowhere to go. No one cared enough. Certainly not Crane. You're acting like they haven't done anything good in the last few days, but you know that's not true. Because of the Sheriff and Snow, I can finally talk about what happened to me, to all of oh, us. Thank God. We're free now. And I think that should count for something. Thank you, Nerissa. She's right. We haven't been there for you in the past. Oh, and I'll God. be the first to admit we've made plenty of mistakes. Bad guy but decisions I truly coming want around. What's best for this town, and we're trying to make things right. And that may not always be clear right away, but I want you all to know that I care deeply about all of you. And I'm sure Bigby does too. It's going to take some time to clean up Crane's mess, but he's gone now. The crooked man is dead. The killer has been found, and you can all rest easy knowing we're here to look out for you. I'll make sure of it. While that's all very touching, is it enough? God damn I'm it, still Blueberry. not convinced Miss White has what it takes to control the sheriff or run this town. I am. Um, we haven't really given them a chance. Crane just left. Let's see what Snow and Bigby can do on their own. I trust Snow to do right by us. Bigby too. I think they've had God enough chances. Damn it. Things are finally changing around here. Maybe you don't feel it, but I do. Bigby and Snow are good for Fable Town. She's right. Now that things have settled down, I'm sure they can do better. And we will. I could use a nap. Right, Sheriff? Of course we will. We're not like Crane. We'll look out for you. Oh, God. We'll see. Can I do like the look at like I got my eye on you, you Jester at Bluebeard? It's finally over. Cause the good I, riddance. That guy. That He's guy right there is asking well. for it. Shit. It's over now.
Goodbye, crooked man. Loading. Well, that's over. Ah, damn, that was fucking rough. But I made it through. It's nice seeing being an asshole kind of came around for me like that, but I mean, I've, I've been a huge bastard <laughs> to like everyone. Didn't oh, expect that to go hi. so well. Sheriff Bigby. Great, great to see you. I mm -hmm. don't know if you remember me. I know who you are, Flycatcher. You, you've okay. worked at the Woodlands for how many years now? <sighs> I think I've lost count. Too many then. Are you gonna come see the truck off? We're leaving for the farm in a few. Thought you might want to. I don't know. I'll be down in a minute. Yeah. Okay. I don't Great. know what I got to do that's so important right now, but I'm going to go do that instead. This fucking line. Hello, prostitute. Jack. Tim. Other assholes. <laughs> oh, uh, Mr. Wolf. Flycatcher left his keys. Why are you calling me Mr. Wolf all of a sudden? It's kind of... Listen, Snow, uh, can we talk? I, I wanted to... It's kind of messed I'm up, sorry, Snow. I'm sorry, Sheriff. I have to take care of this. Snow, you're being we'll fake. We'll talk later, okay? Good morning, Miss White. <sighs> you're late. Well, shit. Did I just get this on? I ain't that fucked up. Well, this fucking episode is short. I don't think anything else is gonna happen. This is the finale, goddammit. What the fuck? I've only spent like an hour on this. What the hell is the rest of my story, goddammit? There you go. Goddammit. So, are we never gonna address all the Mondays that saw me. There's no may have saw me. Those motherfuckers oh, saw God. me. Jesus. There's no way they didn't see me. We only have like five minutes. They carry me for fuck's sake. I don't give a shit. You forgot these. Oh, thank you. It's uh, been pretty busy around here. Pretty busy? Morning, There's sheriff. only like three people Not getting in this truck. Day. Oh yeah, Toad. It's a pretty nice day. <sighs> Just go grab that, would you? It's just a farm. You don't have to be so dramatic about it. Yeah. Yeah, kind of hell down. Come on, Colin. I'm walking, all right? Calm down. Wait, Sheriff Bigby. The I hell have do you want? <laughs> you know, he was up crying all night, poor kid. Sounds tragic. Can you give this to Miss White, please? Dad says there's no time to say goodbye, so... You asked this favor of me? She was nice. NEVER! I'm kind of busy here. Please. NO! You better remember that shit. That's everybody. that fucking thing away what's it like at the farm I've heard ogres live there and, and they eat people in their sleep sometimes god I hope not do we have to go I want to stay here well we don't have a choice anymore <laughs> your dad broke the rules TJ you're not allowed to stay in fabled town without a glamour don't break the law motherfucker okay come on it won't be so bad have you been there before? No. I'm, uh... Some of the animals aren't comfortable around wolves. So you wouldn't know, would you? Hmm. We're all set. That's racist. <laughs> Bye, Mr. Wolf. Goodbye, TJ. Hey, Colin. 
I like bacon, man. How you feel about that? Huh? You seen your brothers? You, you mad, bro? Mad at me. Would it change your mind? Probably not. You got another one of those? How about a smoke for the road? One last time? Can't be easy getting cigs up at the farm. Probably uh, I don't not. think so. Are yeah. you always going to be a stingy asshole? Probably. <laughs> I guess I'll see you around. Maybe. Stay Maybe. out of trouble, okay? If you even can. Mm, no promises. I can't make any promises. Yeah, me neither. Ta ta. <laughs> Saying goodbye. The fuck. Oh, hey, Marissa, what's up? Well, bang, okay. Hi. Hi. You're still wearing that thing. Oh. Yeah. I guess I am. It's not easy to forget. I know it seems like I should be able to. It's just that thing's getting on my nerves. Bigby, I, I know you're trying to help, but this is just something I need to do on my own, okay? Listen, I, God damn I it. came here because I have to tell you something. What is it? It's about what happened to Faith and Lily. What I'm else sure do you fucking what? What else <sighs> could you possibly Faith, have to say about this goddamn Lily case? Lily and I, we had this plan. We're gonna find a way out. Leave the pudding and pie for good. But then, Faith decided to get some... leverage. She stole a picture of Crane and Lily together. The minute Faith stole that photo, we had dirt on one of the crooked man's allies. If he found out... I... Mm -hmm. I had no choice. You have to understand. You've seen how they kept us quiet in that place. Can you imagine the lengths they go just to silence someone who had physical evidence? Can you Marissa, just spit the shit out? Tell me what happened. I freaked out, okay? I thought if I came clean to Georgie, he'd get the crooked man to leave us alone. We could just forget the whole thing. Maybe so you sold out? Again in a few years. Oh, you're a horrible what? person. So I told him. Sell out! And I begged for mercy for all of us. I didn't want anyone to die over a picture. You sold, sold out, you them. son of a bitch. No. Yes. Georgie promised he'd smooth things over with the crooked man. But then... Oh, God. <laughs> I'm not doing any of those. Continue. What happened? Can you tell me anything else? I don't know what happened. But that night at the club... Georgie came back and told me things had changed. He had to make an example of us. We had committed treason. And while the two of us were sitting there, as he was telling me this, Faith walked in, and I had to watch while Georgie... It was my fault. Oh, I shit. sold them out. And she just... <laughs> and Lily? <sighs> that night... After Faith, they're a horrible person. I tried to warn Lily, but she wasn't with her scheduled appointment, so I did the only thing I could do. I, I left Faith's head at your doorstep. You? I walked her over here, and I left her, just hoping that maybe if I couldn't save fuck? them, could at least save the rest of us. So that ring in her mouth, that was you? Yeah, I couldn't think of any other way to get your attention. So you, you started all this? I just pointed you in the right direction. People like us get forgotten all the time. The crooked man was counting on that. When we suffer, we do it in silence. Mm -hmm. And the world likes it that way. We just fade. Like we never existed. I couldn't watch that happen to Faith or Lily. Nobody cares so about So you us. sold them out, ain't it? it? Not really. I'm sorry, Narissa. I'm sorry that's what it took to get me to pay attention. It'll yeah. be different now. 
You'll make things right. You and Snow. Oh, I'll oh, make yeah. them worse. Seems like no matter what I do, it's just not enough for her or anyone. I just can't win with these people. I know it might feel that way, but they need you, Bigby. Both of you. Mm -hmm. You two make a good team. The way you look out for each other and look out for us. You don't see that a lot these days. No I one just, is ever fucking happy. I go out there and I do my job. I put my life on the line. I get shot at. I do what has to be done for them. But at the end of the day, I'm still the bad guy. I know. But they'll come around. Emphasis on get shot at. Like After everything eating bullets us, like a champion all day. I don't want to admit it, but without you, none of this would have happened. You listened when no one else would. You protected your friends, no matter the cost. And you brought justice to this town, finally. If you hadn't killed the crooked man back there, he would have just talked his way out of it like he always does. So from where I'm standing, you did the right thing. Mm -hmm. You've been given this job for a reason. And I left Faith at your doorstep because I knew if anyone stood a chance against the crooked man, it was you. No. Nope. It doesn't matter what I do. In the end, it's all the same shit it always was. You're wrong. You've changed this place. For better or worse, Fable Town wouldn't be the same without you. Whatever. Mm, that ass. You're not as bad as everyone says you are. The fuck did you just say to me? Wait a second. Is I that Faith glamorous to to Narissa? I feel like we've met before. You're trying to place me. You like my ribbon? Do you like it? Faith wore one too. Would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. They used to call me the little Did mermaid. Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? He said he wanted to run more tests. I hope you find what you're looking for. Those pieces don't add up. Well, I'm going after that motherfucker. I'll see you around, Wolf. Well, hot damn. That's the end. We made it. What did I do? I killed the shit out of Georgie. Hell yeah, I did. I killed Cookie Man at the foundry. Fuck that guy. He had a gun on me. Self-defense, yeah. Stayed at the... What is this? The ruling trial thing? Yeah, I don't care about that. That's fine. Did not accept TJ's gift. No, fuck you guys. Fuck all... 94.7? Mm, 94.7 of you. Fuck all you. You saw. Fuck that guy. <laughs> fuck that kid. Clement Token deliver his own gift. Even though he's going to the farm, I probably won't be able to do that. But fuck that. And what were my last words to Narissa? None of it matters. It doesn't. Because I'm going to make it worse. So, let's see. Told him, yep, yep. Actually, I just want to see a rough kill count. One, two, three. I'm still claiming that one. And then all these decisions. Beat the fuck out of these people. Stole some money, burned some trees. Got a sister, ripped an arm off. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I like to see. So, I mean, it showed me my decision, so that, that's it, I guess. Right? Yep. Yep, that's the end, guys. Damn. Short as fuck, but good as fuck. I guess that's, that's the end of season one of The Wolf Among Us, guys. So, uh, thanks for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video.